Lord Stockton. Hello, hello, Flat. Hello, Rob. Yes, we are. Good, good, good. Lord Stockton, it's very yes. good to see you here. Wonderful. Lord Stockton, as the Conservative Party prepares for the Fulham by-election, yes. what do you think... It's remarkable, this chair, isn't it? <laughs> very remarkable. <laughs> up, it can't control the bloody thing. No, no. <laughs> Part of the space shuttle, I suppose. Yes, sorry. <laughs> yes, as they prepare for the Fulham by election, what oh, do you think Lord. their priorities should be? Well, um, as I look around this great country of ours, I, I really have to weep. Big girls don't cry. That's what it says in the Bible. Yes. But I'm not ashamed. I see around me four million people unemployed. Millions of others out of work. <laughs> What does that ghastly woman do? Bugger all. So you blame Mrs Thatcher? Hold on a moment. Don't start putting words into my mouth. When I, when I said that ghastly woman, I don't call her ghastly just because she's a woman. Yeah. And I don't call her a woman just because she's ghastly. <laughs> but she is a woman and she is ghastly. <laughs> So I call her, I call her, that ghastly woman. Ghastly woman, yes. Yeah. Mind you, she has many, many, many qualities. In some ways, she reminds me of Winston Churchill. Slimmer, of course. Yes. You, you, uh, you mention her qualities. What qualities do you admire in Mrs. Thatcher? What? What qualities do you admire? You admire Mrs. Thatcher. Mrs. Thatcher. Well, I suppose if I had a single, out, a single quality, I'd have to plump for her hair. Her hair, yes. She has an outstanding hair, yeah. which has moved with the times. <laughs> But the trouble is, uh, the rest of her has remained completely static. Yes. <laughs> but uh, Jack Kennedy had, uh, had wonderful hair. Mm -hmm. President Kennedy, wonderful hair, yes. I, I remember once sitting with him in the Oval Office. This was before he was uh, assassinated. I think. <laughs> and he leaned over to me and said, Prime Minister, who cuts your hair? <laughs> so I told him, and of course a year later, he was dead. <laughs> Martin Luther King, he had wonderful hair. Yes. Different, of course. It was, it was more, more wiry. Yes. I remember sitting with, with, with Dr. King, with his lovely wife, uh, Billie Jean. <laughs> and uh, in the air, when he said, I was, I was transfixed mm. by his hair. Yes, lovely hair. Right. Yes. Oh, awful bang went on there. Yes, that's right. Is somebody trying to assassinate me? No, I didn't. I, 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 I was a kid. Well, Stockton, yes. tell me, tell me, yes. if, you can, if you can bear to, do, do you see yourself as the voice of moderation, Lord Stockton? Well, for, for many years, I, and in countless publications, all of which, incidentally, have been published by Macmillan and are still in print. Very good. I've advocated moderation. Yes. But in moderation, you have to draw the line somewhere. I mean, take South Africa. Nobody could abhor, could abhor, it's a tricky word to say, isn't it? <laughs> abhor the system of apartheid more than myself. Except perhaps the blacks who live in South Africa. <laughs> but what, but what, what do you do about it? I remember my wife, God bless her, she refused to have any South African produce in the house. And one day a footman inadvertently brought in some outspan orange segments in a tin. Mm. Dorothy, God bless her, seized the can from him, threw it out the window. Mm. Unfortunately, landed on a passing African <laughs> and uh, killed him. Killed him. Killed him. <laughs> killed him all hair, but uh, <laughs> com yeah. completely dead, yes. Completely dead, yes. Lord Stockton, um, you are now in the autumn of your years. Uh, nearly dead, yes. Nearly dead, in fact. <laughs> what, what brings you the most pleasure now? In... Well, I, I think the thing that gives me the, the greatest single pleasure is being an absolute bloody nuisance. <laughs> It's such fun. Mm. I take that Sunday trading business. I'm completely for it. But when Earl Attlee, the, the drug addict, when he whispered to me <laughs> that one vote would kill the whole thing off and the whole bloody caboodle would have to go back to those ghastly estate agents in the House of Commons, of course, no, I said. Oh, great fun. Great fun. And finally, Lord <laughs> Stockton, if I may ask, do you have any further ambitions in your life? Well, I've had a very full life. You have. Yes, I've fought in two world wars, I've governed the country, and been on Desert Island Discs. Roy Plumley, wonderful man, completely bald. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and of course, uh, dead. Dead. Yes. But I regard the House of Lords as a stepping stone. A stepping stone to Vegas. 
Is that Las Vegas? Las Vegas, yes. I don't see myself carrying the whole show. On the other hand, I'm not going to open for Tony Bennett. No, no, no. Well, Terry <laughs> Gilmer is an idea. Yes. Over there, I, I think I can see out of the corner of my eye a huge, great, blonde tart. <laughs> from America. A lovely head of hair, and indeed has the whole group. Twisted Sister. <laughs>